Heidi and today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this gray fox's fur in watercolor and these are just the colors that I used. So here you can see me I'm just adding some sapia mixed with raw sienna just to give it a nice base to work with. Also just adding some transparent red iron oxide into the areas um, where the darkest oranges will be. I didn't really shade a whole lot before I started painting and defining the fur so just keep that in mind that I shade more towards the end which I sort of regret because it softened out the fur a little bit more than I wanted to but I still think it turned out really good. see I just mixed some Prussian blue with some yellow ochre I believe and made this nice green color that's gonna look really good shadowed under the darkest bits of the fur and I also just added in the shadowed area under the fox important thing about painting fur is paying attention to the direction in which it's going um, and studying your reference photos for a very long time. Also whenever I'm painting the fur I try to keep my brush pretty dry um, so that I have more control as to where my paint goes and you know whenever you have too much water on your brush it can really just put down a big blob that you don't want or need in your painting. <laughs> so from here on out, I'm just gonna do some more shading with some Prussian and sapia. And throughout the rest of the video, the fur is basically just my ochre and raw sienna mixed with some sapia more or less, um, and then neutral tint on top. Uh, besides, of course, the orange. The orange is the red iron oxide, and sometimes I mix that with the sapia. Other than that, just pay attention to the direction that I'm painting, how I'm shading, and I hope that this video really helps you out. This is my very first YouTube video, so if you liked this, please subscribe. I'm planning on uploading videos every single week, and yeah, I really, really appreciate you sticking with me throughout this whole video. Thank you.